Hello, everyone. My name is Drew. Um, I am a tutor here on Wiseant. I tutor a multitude of mathematical topics. Um, today's question um, says here, this is what we're given, that the cosecant of theta equals three, and we're meant to find the cosine of theta. Now, the person who posted this um, mentioned, you know, I think they said something along the lines of, this is, you know, like, what do I do next? I don't know what to do because, you know, we have this cos cosecant of theta equals three. This isn't one of these nice, neat, you know, numbers that show up on, you know, like that unit circle. It's uh, not something I can find easily to find theta to figure out what the cosine of theta is. Um, you know, what do I do next, right? So what I usually tell a lot of my students here in this case is, um, when you're when you're met with a problem like this, where it might seem a little bit daunting, where it might seem um, difficult to know where to start or you know where you're supposed to go, uh, the best thing you can do usually is just start working on it. And what I mean by that is any little thing that you know how to do, that you know how to simplify, you know how to change around and move around, um, go ahead and try it and see if it works. You know you could be working on it for a little bit, but it will usually reveal something to you as you do it. So for instance, in this case. What I mean here is we, we're given the cosecant of theta, right? But what is what is the cosecant of, of theta? That is the reciprocal of the sine function, right? So sine of theta. So the cosecant of theta is one over the sine of theta. So I can set that equal to three. So now we have this in terms of sine. So I can actually represent it this way. So sine of theta equals one over three. So now, I'm, now I have uh, the sine of theta and um, I can use that to find the cosine of theta. And how would I do that? Well, let's consider, let's consider a triangle, right triangle here. Let's call this theta, this angle here. So since I know the sine of theta, which is one over three in the sine of theta, so Kotoa is the opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite one over the hypotenuse three. So now I know this is one and I know this is three. So all we're missing is this one side of the triangle. And of course, this means that we're gonna be using the Pythagorean theorem or Pythagoras' theorem. So X squared, which is one side, plus one squared, which is equal to one, equals the hypotenuse squared, which is nine. If we simplify this, we get X squared is equal to eight and X equals plus or minus the square root of eight which is the same thing as plus or minus oops, two times the square root of two. Now here we're talking about a length here of a side. So uh, it doesn't make sense to have negative values for the length of a side. Um, so we're just going to leave that, uh, leave that as a positive one. So we're just gonna let that be two times the square root of two. So now we actually have a value here for this side length here in this triangle. But now that we have that, and we have our theta here, we can figure out cosine of theta. So again, so Gatoa, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine of theta in this case is adjacent here, which is two times the square root of two over the hypotenuse, which is three. Oops, not here. So this is your answer.